I'm Gary with Piagraponics, and we're back for the last episode of the Bubble Bucket and Beyond. Um, last week we built this guy here, the single bubble bucket, for the past two episodes. Um, this week we're taking it a, a step further. We have, this is a two plant system here with a reservoir, and all of our bubble buckets are hooked together. Um, it also has a circulation pump in here that actually circulates the water around. Um, this is going to be cool and it's going to be easier to take care of you won't have to deal with trying to move the plants off the buckets anymore because you'll have this reservoir here that you can check your ph you can check your parts million ec all that can be done in your extra reservoir bucket so let's get to it we're gonna go get some parts and all right we're gonna need three buckets for this project and we're gonna need one blank bucket lid that's gonna be on top of our reservoir to keep the light from getting in it um, always try to keep light out of your reservoir. Um, we're going to have two plants on this system, so we're going to do the old six inch baskets again. Check out our previous videos, and we explained all of that already. So, Back to the parts section. In between our buckets, we're going to be using the drains, the same kind of thing we use for the water indicator level line. Um, this time we're going to be using one inch. The bigger the better on these trains because when this is set in, all said and done it's going to be circulating around and you don't want to restrict it. So each bucket's going to have an in and out. So we're going to need two per buckets. So we're going to need six of these. Right, there's four in there. That's six. Everything for this. It's really not a lot of parts involved. We're also going to need our one inch hose over here. I'm just going to go in between our buckets. So we're going to just carry that around. We'll be cutting some small pieces off of that and I'll meet you over with the counter. Alright, this is going to be a cool little system when it's done. Um, once you get multiple plants into a grow room, um, if they're all separate buckets, you're going to have to mix everything separately. This system, everything's going to be hooked together. So, as you saw, the closest the buckets can be in your garden are the thickness of these. So, right here, it's about the closest you can possibly get them. Um, so, we are at about 27 inches from edge to edge here. So keep that in mind when you're designing this for your house because some people come in and they have little tiny closets and stuff so a three by three tent this little system can fit in nicely or you can uh, add one to it you can do we've done as many as 10 buckets before um but i, I recommend stay, staying at the most to be eight buckets all right and what i'm doing right now is i'm positioning the buckets the way they're going to be when it's done, that way I know where I can drill all the holes. So I got a Sharpie marker here. I'm just gonna go and put a little line above each one of these. And it's a little hard to see the Sharpie marker, but. You can sp space this out also and have you know lots of room between your plants it's all about how much room you have i think that's all of them all right now drill your holes you don't want this too far down because on the inside of the bucket there's a little rounded edge and in, i've drilled them too far down before and this sits a little like cockeyed on the edge and then you get the leaks so we're gonna go about let's measure it about one inch to the bottom of the fitting is where we're gonna end up being there so you can even take it and just put a line on each side gives you a little bit of zero and since we're using a soft tubing here if it's off a quarter inch the soft tubing can kind of help make up for that. If you're using PVC, that's a whole different story. You need to have everything really exact. Get out of the way for now. 
All right, so we're gonna start our holes. Um, I'm gonna be drilling six holes here. And I'm just kind of centering up between my two lines that I put on. And once again, gonna have a mess. <laughs> These little things just unscrew. And I'm gonna eyeball this whole system up. Um, you can get out the tape measure if you want and get everything exact, but I built enough of them. That's one done. some eyeball in here. Line under. And the last bucket. <clears throat> I always want to buy one of those white paint markers to do this. <laughs> Make things a little bit easier to see. We're gonna get the deburring tool out again and clean these up. On this system, since we're dealing with multiple buckets, the weight of the water is gonna be an issue. So you wanna make sure your fittings are definitely on there nice. Um, I'm gonna ream these out, make it nice and smooth. We're gonna do that to all three of them. Fittings on. And yes. Again, um, if you watched our last video, these come with two grommets on them. So one on the inside, one on the outside. Go away from the inside, stick them on. Can tighten these, don't over tighten them. Um, you can always go back once you get the water in the system and make sure that everything's good. I could have went down another quarter inch to, towards the bottom, but I just don't want you guys to ruin your buckets. Um, I always tell customers, try to drill like an old bucket around your house first. That way, if you mess it up, you're not wasting a brand new bucket.
I mean, in a future video, we're gonna be doing the high flow undercurrent system. We're gonna be using two inch bulkhead fittings with PVC pipe. So if you wanna see a bigger system, that's gonna be coming up next few weeks, hopefully. But for now, we're doing this. When you get into the bigger system, prices on parts are gonna go up. So you know, this is more of a beginner style here. All right, so we got all three buckets. They're gonna sit something like this. Um, you're gonna have your two plants. You're gonna have your reservoir up front so you can get to here. Um, your reservoir, you'll be able to check your pH, your water level, all that'll be done on that bucket. And when you need to drain the system, you'll use this reservoir, use the pump in there to suck everything out and do a drain. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and catch some tubing cut here. I'm gonna space them out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go about eh, let's do six inches this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut six inches of tubing. where I want to go. Alright, so six inches. Yep. So I'm just going to use this as a guide for the rest of them. This is a few gray plastic vinyl. By Hydro Farm. And three of them is all we need for this one. If you had a multi bucket system, of course you'll need more of these. So, so you did like eight plants. These can be hard to get on, so I like to push on the inside. A little bit of dish soap can work wonders on these. These are quadruple barbed, by the way. So you don't really need hose clamps with them. It's probably the physically hardest part of building this. Getting your tubing on. Alright. And the last one. The bend of the hose is what uh, people, at least customers, call it memory. You can run it under warm water if you ever have problems with it always the hardest. And with all the bending and twisting and all that, I usually go give these just a little, little extra smooth turn here at this point. Finger tighten them. All right. Everything is together now. Um, so it's going to end up like this. Um, this system we're going to be using a two output air pump for these two buckets. The reservoir we're not going to aerate. Um, you don't want bubbles going into your pump or circulation pump that we're getting ready to put on. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes for the air right now. Quarter inch bit. And I'm probably going to set my pump on this side. So I'm going to do both of my holes on these sides of the bucket. There's one. That's good to go. All right, we need more parts. Meet me over there.
All right, um, we're not gonna go through the whole shebang about the air. But we're gonna need two stones. On um, last video, we went through all that. So if you didn't see that, go back and watch it. So two air stones for this. We're also gonna need a two output pump since we're gonna have dedicated outputs for each one. And we're gonna need some air tubing. That's gonna take care of the air portion of it. The circulation portion gets a little more complicated. Um, we're gonna be using a pump to circulate the water around the system. Um, you cannot use a huge pump on it. Like we've tried a 400 gallon per hour, and what happens is it pumps around so fast, the, the first bucket it goes to is a really high water level. The last bucket will be sucked down low. So we're actually gonna use this little guy up here. This is a 75 gallon per hour pump. It's also got an adjustment on the front, like most of our pumps, and that'll allow you to really dial it in. Um, We're also gonna need a way to get this half inch line to turn into a three quarter inch line. And pretty much my goal here is on the inside of the bucket where this is on the inside, this three quarter inch line fits in the back of it nice and snug. Very smart. <laughs> it's because it's cold. Yeah, there we go. So I was trying to show you. So we're gonna take a little bit of that over there. And then, like I said, we gotta go from the half inch to the three quarter inch. So we're gonna be using a reducer, which we do sell multiple different kinds of reducers. This is pretty much going to turn into a three quarter inch line. And by the time I'm done this, you'll understand what I'm talking about here. So, or at least I hope so. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm also going to need a tiny piece of half inch hose. All right, tiny piece of half inch hose. And then the three quarter inch hose, I'm going to wait to cut. That way I'm not wasting too much of that. That, that stuff gets a little bit more pricey. All right, that should be everything we need, and I'll meet you back over there. All right, we are back. Um, got our air stuff ready to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our air stones in here. Set them right in the middle on the bottom. I'm gonna leave enough room for my air line so I can have it sit outside the tent. Um, keeping your air pump outside the grow area is it, sucking in cooler air, basically, so. Even better yet, set it on top of an air conditioning vent or something. Um, your air pump, you always want to have it elevated above the water level in case the, the electric turns off and it's happened to customers before. Um, water will siphon back through the air pump and it's shot. So, our air pump's going to salt to the side. So, about that much line on that one. Some people do like to cut their air line even on both stones. I don't know if that really makes a difference or not, but I kind of just don't like having, having to, uh, excessive, uh, excessive spaghetti laying around. All right. So that one, we're about that far. So I'm not going to plug this in yet. So the air is ready. All right, this part is a little bit complicated. This is the part where we have to get, turn the half inch output on this pump into a three quarter inch. So the pumps are going to set on the edge at the bottom of the bucket. It's going to kind of mount to the side of the bucket like this. Then we're going to have our reducer turn it into three quarter inch. And then that's going to go and line up with the outside of this hole. So that's what we're going to try to do here. I shouldn't say try. We're going to do it. <laughs> All right. So the half inch is going to go on here. It's going to go on here. Then I need to get a measurement to go from here to figure out how far of a piece of three quarter inch hose I need. So I'm gonna stick that down there. Get out the old fashioned tape measure. And five inches looks like enough. So. Attach that on here. 
And this isn't a tight fit on this particular pump, and that's fine, it's, it's not gonna matter. All right, so this I'm pretty much gonna wedge against the sidewall. And it is in there. So, I don't know if you can get over to see this or not, but. Pretty much the water's gonna go this way, circulate around the buckets, and keep on circulating all day long. Um, you might have to turn the pump down. Like I said before, if you use a big pump, this bucket will be really full, this one will be really low, because it can't keep up with the circulation. Um, that's one of the problems with this system. It's not a problem, honestly. <laughs> it's just that everybody has seen the fast current underflow systems with the two inch pipe or the three inch pipe, and those things are running like a river. But this system does work and it's much cheaper to build. Um, we're also gonna put on the water fill line on the side like we did in our last video. And I'm gonna go get the stuff for that. See you in a minute. All right, we're gonna put on the water level indicator line on the side again. Um, I'm gonna kind of do it off to the side a little bit just cause my pump's probably gonna be sitting right about here no matter which way I, I shoot the water. So, well, let's go ahead and drill the top so we got my bit in there. Fill in this rim again. In our last video, we explained all this, so go back and watch that if you don't remember. This will be nice to have one here. And all your buckets will always be the same level. Alright, the burning tool. Those edges up. tubing much easier once you do it a couple times and here's our little clip Top of that off real quick. All right. Put my pump back in. I pulled that out when I drilled just to make sure I didn't mess it up and embarrass myself on this video. Hundreds of thousands of people will be watching it. <laughs> All right. We saw all the stuff here, and we can all kinds of different variations of it and I'm sure it will in future videos all right for the lid I've done this a few different ways myself too um, I've tried to do like grommets with the cord inside pretty much you need a hole for the cord so over the over time I end up just doing a simple little notch out on the side here um, this is tricky to drill Pretty much, I'm gonna go right on the edge of the bucket here. Just like that. And that'll give it a nice little notch out for the cord to come out of. So that's your reservoir. That, that's pretty much it. Um, I am Gary from Piagaponics, and this was a fun little bubble bucket project. Um, this is our first series of videos. 
I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch more, so all kinds of stuff. Um, I think next I'm probably gonna do a cloning machine, an AirPod cloner. That'll be fun and easy and fun. You know, building stuff's fun. We love doing it. Customers come in all the time. You know, I need to build this. I'm like, well, let's build it now. <laughs> Cause I got all the parts. So anyway, check back with us and we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.